Good day, good day! How the honk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. And we have got something new for you today to take a look at. Yeah, here it is. Ba bam! This is the Rebel Land Rover 109 Series 3 plastic model kit in the 134 scale. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, this is a glorious, isn't it grand? Very, very cool. Uh, this is uh, Ot 3, Ot 2, 5. <laughs> Ot, yeah. Uh, released in 1997. We're just going to take a look around the box here. Uh, you can go ahead and freeze frame these uh, sections and take a look at them. And uh, they have... Uh, very nicely uh, given us the opportunity uh, in many different languages. So very, very cool. Oh, this is really kind of cool. Uh, the different versions that you can do in these. I love the first one there. Uh, yeah, the November 8, 1988, the Iron Hammer. Yes, FX, FTX, yes. And, oh, I love the uh, Royal Irish Rangers Dothmar, Dothmar uh, training area. I like that one, too. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh really? Oper uh, Operation Desert Sab uh, Saber uh, 91. Unbelievable. Yes. Uh, we'll talk about the service of this uh, Series 3 a little bit later. Uh, first, let's continue around the box here. As you see, uh, uh, skill level three, another depiction of the kit there. And come around. All right, here's some more wonderful writing. Just go ahead and pause that. It's in focus. You can go, <laughs> go ahead, uh, read that at your leisure. UPC, if you're interested. Uh, more um, about the kit here. Uh, very nice. Uh, yeah, what is it? Seven different languages on the box. Oh, yeah, here is the uh, 1997. Uh, so very, very cool. Very cool. Um, all right, so the other side is uh, practically the same as the other side, except this has the price on it. Now, I couldn't tell you uh, exactly, sorry for, for that, couldn't tell you exactly where I picked these up that I did, I believe, buy them in person. Uh, one of the reasons I say that, oh yeah, by the way, I've got two of them. <laughs> yeah, this one is uh, same sticker and same price and everything. This one is uh, sealed though. This, uh, where is it sealed? Yeah, this one's sealed. And uh, so we can't open that one, of course. As my luck would have it, the sealed one has got a damage in the box, and the unsealed one <laughs> is in mint condition, per se. But uh, there you go. There you go. All right, you may recognize this uh, because uh, Revel also did a uh, reboot, a re-release of this new parts, new decals in 2015. And the uh, rover is pointing the other way and in a sand color. Uh, so re-released uh, then um, earlier this year on eBay one of these sold for like 40 bucks yeah and uh, you can buy um, over in France uh, because you know I don't know you can buy them over there for 34 bucks or so they do call for a premium price they, they are they are holding their value or going up in value I should say uh, I saw the second gen the real release in the UK going for like uh, 24 pounds, you know, so pretty neat, pretty neat. All right, well, we're not going to open this one. We're going to keep that one uh, nice and uh, neat in the package, but we are going to open this one here. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look inside and see uh, exactly what we've got. All right. So, this one's in the uh, wrapper yet. Uh Maybe someday on the channel we'll put this together, seeing that I have two of them. Uh, this is the back side, and you can see um, there's the front grill. You have to build the whole thing. It's all in flat slabs. 
kind of like the real Land Rover. You got to build it with a screwdriver and a crescent wrench. That's right. <laughs> Front wings, uh, the tires, the tires are uh, all plastic. They, uh, there are no rubber parts in this uh, piece. Uh, there's the uh, dash, there's the hood. And it does come with a clear uh, spur. Uh, so, and uh, so a couple of clear pieces there. It, uh, it is a canvas top. It is a canvas top, but you can see here is the seat box and the front uh, frame work. But yeah, very, very kind of cool. Very kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, maybe we can someday uh, go ahead and uh, build that. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I, I would love to. We're, that is a goal of mine here on uh, Roverland is to do uh, anything and everything Land Rover. And this is it for sure right here. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, printed in Germany. Uh, yep, 1997 is uh, the year there. I've got, uh, yeah, here I got the uh, decal chic here. Got to be careful with that. Still in uh, minty mint shape. So uh, you see the Royal Air Force you can do and uh, other things. That was uh, this uh, Chevron or whatever. That was the uh, Operation Desert Saber or whatever it was. I can't remember now. Something Operation Saber. Uh, but anyway, uh, so let's take a look at the instructions here. Uh, very nice, uh, a German and English. All right. And, uh, it doesn't open to the side. It opens to the top. Yeah. So that's kind of interesting. So, uh, go ahead and it, uh, tells you, you know, how to make things, <laughs> uh, what you're looking for. Oh my goodness. There's got more, more languages in here. Look at this. I, I, I kind of recognize that. Yeah, isn't that uh, Greek, isn't it? Arabic? Ara no, not Arabic, Greek. I saw, I, I saw that before. I saw that. <laughs> I can't speak it, but I saw that. <laughs> so, very interesting, very interesting. So you just lay this out and you can uh, just go ahead and build your model. So it's very, very nicely done. Um, gives you the, uh, ugh, let's get this going here. We got a system here. Gives you the inventory that you need to look for. And then step one, there it is. We're off and building, huh? So uh, starting from the ground up, every good rover starts with a good frame. So that's the inside. And uh, then you go there from there. From there, you go and start building from there. So very, very nice. Uh, this would need, um, you know, glue, obviously. And, um, you know, uh, oh, it's got uh, Pioneer tools for the back. That's cool. And, uh, you know, so glue, glue, obviously, as well as uh, paint. So, uh, yeah, there, and here's now the, uh, oh, I love the, the wheels on this. Oh, that's the Royal Air Force. Yeah. So, yeah, very, very kind of cool. Uh, gives you the maps of uh, how to... Uh, um, camouflage or decorate or uh, build your unit. So very, very kind of cool. I like that. All right. Well, that is going to do it. Oh, I was going to tell you a little bit about the uh, Land Rover and its uh, service in the military. Uh, the real Series 3 served in the British Army from uh, the early 70s when they came out. Uh, through the mid to late 1990s. And then uh, finally they were replaced by the uh, Defender-based Wolf vehicles. So, uh, yeah, just just really kind of cool. They, uh, matter of fact, I owned a 1979, uh, well, it was a 88 wheelbase uh, general service uh, Land Rover. And uh, very, very cool. I, I yeah, cried the day I had to sell it, you know, <laughs> but, uh, life goes on and there's more out there. And, uh, yeah, it was even a left, left hooker. Um, uh, so it was, it was really kind of cool, but it was imported and, uh, the real, real McCoy, it had the, uh, rubberized paint on it, it had br bronze green paint job underneath, but then it had the, uh, rubberized paint that some 
GI uh, just slapped right on there, and that was pretty cool. I, sh I almost bought some paint. The, the shipping was worth twice as much as the paint, but I should have done it when I could have. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it even had the bumperettes like this. It was Series 3, had the plastic. I did replace the uh, plastic with a metal Series 2 that I owned. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty much it looked pretty much like this, but it was not a 109. It was an 88. Uh, mine did come with a uh, uh, not the original top. It had it came with a, uh, a hard top, which was really kind of cool, which was white, and then they painted the outside <laughs> a different color. But anyway, I did replace that with uh, the original hoops and uh, canvas top. And uh, so that was really cool truck. Yeah, it was, had the uh, bonnet, the deluxe bonnet hood, and a, a, a Goodyear, an old Goodyear tire on it. I had the original uh, Avon uh, tires on it, but uh, yeah, it was an awesome truck. Uh, I think I still got the email uh, from the guy that bought it, but uh, anyway, there we go. I'm rambling. All right, those were the days. <laughs> All right, there you go. Thanks for joining me today on a um, Roverland model collection uh, video. Hopefully you enjoyed that, and uh, there'll be more. I've got a couple more coming. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, get over there, subscribe. And uh, yeah, come on over to Facebook and join me there, Roverland, and on Instagram. Roverland channel. All right, that's going to do it for me today. As always, my friends, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.